Okay, so let's talk about garlic. Um, garlic is one of my top favorite um, herbs or foods, if you will, and not only for um, us humans, but also for uh, our animals. So I really like using it a lot as a supplement and also as medicine for my dogs too. Um, one of my absolute most favorite uh, household remedies uh, that I make uh, is actually uh, garlic honey or um, garlic uh, infused in honey and that is what I'm going to show you today uh, when uh, we focus on garlic and its properties and uh, what it can do for our health. So first let's start um, <clears throat> talking about garlic's um, uh, actions, um, about its medicinal properties and so on. So it is actually uh, an herb which is very nutritive and um, that is why it's considered a food and why it's used a lot in, uh, in uh, cooking. Uh, so besides uh, quite a high amount of vitamin A, it actually contains uh, quite a lot of uh, different B vitamins as well as sodium, uh, calcium, phosphorus, uh, uh, zinc and potassium. So it is really um, pretty um, packed with these micronutrients. Uh, so that's one thing. It is also pretty rich in protein and fiber. And when it comes to its um, medicinal um, properties or actions, um, it has such an amazing um, broad scale uh, from being, um, as I said, nutritive uh, to being antioxidant. So it's really good for cleansing the body, for tonifying our immune system and so on. Uh, so it is a tonic, um, it is an antioxidant. But at the same time, it has even stronger um, abilities or properties um, and those give it actually um, uh, the status of being an anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antibacterial, antimicrobial. Um, it is a natural antibiotic because of these um, actions. Garlic's strongest affinities are actually to the immune system the cardiovascular system, blood, and liver. Uh, so those are all the properties that make it an amazing uh, ally for um, supporting, um, building, maintaining a strong immune system. And also, it, uh, as suggested, it can help us um, strongly to fight off viruses, bacteria, and so on. So um, the remedy that we're going to make today is extremely uh, simple because we are using only two ingredients and that is garlic, fresh garlic, uh, so not dry one, and uh, local uh, organic honey. Uh, so all you need to do actually is take a jar. Um, you know, you can decide whatever size you want to do. Uh, maybe if you're starting with this remedy, maybe um, you're not sure how it's going to ta uh, taste, how you're going to like it. So maybe start with just a smaller jar, uh, like this one. But any glass jar will do. And then all you need to do is peel um, some garlic cloves uh, and uh, chop them into small pieces and fill up the jar um, uh, basically kind of to the neck uh, uh, or, or maybe a little lower. <clears throat> so I have already prepared some uh, peeled garlic so you, you don't have to watch me peeling it forever. And we're gonna chop it into smaller pieces, it doesn't have to be super tiny. <clears throat> and because we use this remedy as it is, so it means we're not gonna prepare anything else with it, so we would be consuming 
exactly this mixture of gar raw garlic and the raw honey. So you may want to decide if you want to have it in tiny little pieces or if bigger pieces are okay, um, depending on how much you like garlic or not. Um, this remedy, actually, one of my secrets is that it is absolutely amazing when used in cooking. Uh, and the secret of the secret is try it on home baked pizza on top of it. Just uh, toss this uh, honey infused or honey soaked garlic uh, on top of the pizza and invite your friends over and they're gonna go nuts. Um, so the thing is that the garlic is going to become uh, pretty soft over time as it uh, infuses with the honey and that's going to make it like super nice uh, when used in cooking and I mean you can use it as I said on the pizza that's kind of like uh, my specialty but you can use it um, mixed into tomatoes and into different kinds of vegetable dishes um, even um, into uh, a salad dressing if you want. So when you're done, just fill up the jar. What I like about these, as I call them, household remedies, is that they um, don't have any specific dosage or specific um, measurements when you create them. Uh, they are truly a folk remedy, um, simple and safe. You can make them at home with your kids. Um, and you kind of eyeball uh, the amount of ingredients you don't have to you know weigh anything and stuff like that so yeah uh, once your jar is filled as I said it's kind of up to you know the neck uh, then you just pour over some raw local organic honey so of using the the more liquid uh, form is always better of course if you're using those creamy ones you can do that too, but it's gonna be much harder work and you would actually have to use a wider and lower um, jar so that you could mix everything in and it's not gonna it's not gonna make the same um, nice result. So it needs a little bit of patience. Once you pour the honey in, uh, you have to give it a little bit of time to uh, get through the garlic a little lower and you can use uh, a chopstick or something some pin uh, to help it get down to the bottom so you get the idea um, So now this is a very strong, not only tasting, but a very strong acting remedy. Uh, some people do not like to chew the bits of the garlic once you take it out uh, from the jar. Uh, you can either mix them or um, just quickly swallow them. Uh, <clears throat> the point though is that you want to be taking this remedy every day, uh, one to two teaspoons, um, as an extra support for your immune system. So again, if you are uh, in need of building up your immune system, 
because I, either it has been compromised or it's low because you just underwent a disease or uh, you're um, experiencing a stressful period of time. Uh, <clears throat> Or if it's, you know, a flu season, you want to support your health, your immune system specifically, if um, it is a flu season. Or, um, again, as I have mentioned uh, when we were making um, fire cider, you can also rely on the honeyed garlic while you're already... Um, fighting uh, a bug, let's call it. Uh, <clears throat> so besides the nutritional values that you're going to get from, from this mixture, you are uh, going to actually um, benefit from the antiviral and antimicrobial um, properties. Um, another aspects of um, this uh, garlic or the honeyed garlic um, that is really very beneficial is uh, not only is it un a strong antiviral but it also helps um, to relieve any uh, congested sinuses so it's really perfect for um, you know colds and flus and these kinds of um, ailments where you're not just looking into like fighting off bacteria and viruses, but you also want to get some kind of a relief. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, um, that's it. And when it comes to the practical part, um, one really great thing about this remedy is that you can actually start using it already uh, a few hours uh, after you have made it. Um, the garlic, since it's raw, it's going to steep, um, or the, the juices from, from the garlic are going to steep into the honey pretty fast. So, like now, it's kind of um, looking pretty thick, but you will see that over time, uh, it will become much more liquid. Uh, and that's because of the juices uh, that will release from the garlic. Uh, <clears throat> What you can also do in case um, the garlic feels just too strong, like, you know, when you put it in your mouth and you start chewing it, it's just too much. Um, and it could also um, cause um, an upset stomach for people that are sensitive to garlic. What you can do to uh, prevent this uh, or to avoid this is that you can actually only take the liquid if you want. So basically you'd be um, leaving the garlic pieces, um, behind in the jar and you would just uh, take your teaspoon and dip it in and uh, drink or yeah take the um, the honey mixed with the garlic juices and then what you can do it with the remaining garlic like after you have already taken all the liquid um, <clears throat> you can use that honey garlic for the cooking so that's one of the options for those of you who are more sensitive to, you know, taking garlic or uh, when such a remedy as, as a teaspoon of this raw garlic could be uh, just too much. Uh, this is one of the ways that uh, you could take it still without it irritating uh, your digestive tract. Um, and that's about it. So you... Um, just close it. Um, again, it's really good to put on a label. Um, I mean, obviously you know what it is. Uh, you don't have to write down what it is, but you can definitely uh, write down the date that you made it. Um, and since <clears throat> this remedy does have a pretty long shelf life, but uh, not, not in terms of uh, months. Uh, so Whenever you start with it, it's good to um, keep it in your fridge um, because garlic and honey both have antibacterial uh, properties and antimicrobial. So they are pretty good at holding. Uh, it's steady and, and fine. But still, um, you want to be looking into uh, using up this remedy within, um, you know, days, um, yeah, up to a couple weeks maybe. 
anyway, when you have a small jar like this, this is not going to be a problem. So maybe just, you know, start with a smaller one, see how you like it. And once you get into the habit of um, taking the honey garlic remedy, then you can make a bigger jar and then you'll see how long it lasts. Um, if you are using it just by yourself or your whole family is using it and so on. So yeah, that's the honeyed garlic. Super simple, very effective and very delicious in cooking as well.